Hello, this is quadratic equation lesson 2.1. In this, I will continue with minimum or maximum value of quadratic expression. In this lesson, I will discuss the general formula to calculate maximum or minimum value of quadratic expression. So let me write a general equation expression quadratics. This is ax square plus bx plus c. Now I will find how to find the maximum or minimum value of this quadratic expression. I will take a common. This is x square plus b by a into x plus c by a. Again, I will make a perfect square. This always equals to p square plus q square plus minus 2pq. So we will look for that. Can I say that this is a x square twice of b upon 2a into x. Why I have done this? Because I need 2pq something. So can I say that uh, this is my p this is q so i go 2 p q and I, I i also have p square but i don't have q square now what i will do i will add as well as subtract q square so that i can make a perfect square so this will be like a into x square plus twice of b by 2a into x plus b by 2a whole square i will add the perfect square q square and i will subtract q square that is b upon 2a square can i say this is p square plus q square plus 2pq can i say this i'm just writing it here this is my this is p square this is plus 2pq and this is q square so I have p square q square plus 2pq so I have a perfect square so can you say this is x plus b by 2a whole square if you open this you will get uh, b c by a minus b square upon 4a square you, if you multiply this x a into x plus b by 2a whole square this is 4ac minus b square upon 4a square after taking LCM again multiply uh, a with the entire thing so you will get a into x plus b by 2a whole square plus 4ac minus b square upon 4a this is what we got after rearranging the quadratic expression this is same as ax square plus bx plus c so I have just rearranged I made a perfect square as we learned in the previous lessons. The general formula we will get here. So these two are the same things. Now this is what we got in the previous slide. Now if A is positive, A can be positive or negative, A can't be zero. Why so? Because if A will become zero, this will not be a quadratic expression. This will become a linear expression. So when A is positive, can I say this A is positive? This perfect square is always positive or minimum to minimum it can be zero. But we will assuming that this is a positive. So positive and positive, the overall product will come positive. Now, can we determine the maximum value of this? Maximum value of this quadratic expression when A is positive will be infinite or you can say that cannot be determined. Why so? Because if you put any value of x, larger value of x, this square will become more larger multiplied by a, it will give you the very high values. For example, if you put x is equal to 10, so you will get 10 plus b by 2a whole square, that is 100 plus something. If you put x is 10 million, if you put x as 10 million, so 10 million plus b by 2 whole, a, 2a whole square into a, so you can get as many large values as you can. If I will put a x is equals to 10 power, let's say 50. If I will take x is equals to 10 power 50. So 10 power 50 plus b by 2 a whole square into a, this will be a very, very huge values. So maximum value we can't determine in this case. So maximum value will be infinite or you can see that cannot be determined. What about the minimum value? Can I say that I can get the minimum value for minimum value, I need to remove the positive part because I want to calculate the minimum value I will make this 
brown circle part zero if i can make this part zero that will reduce the overall value because this is a constant part 4ac minus b square upon 4a this will be a constant part that does not depends on x so we'll make x part zero which is positive because you want to calculate the minimum value we will reduce or make zero the positive part so for minimum value we will make this zero so minimum value will be 4ac minus b square upon 4a at x is equals to minus b by 2a if you put x is equals to minus b by 2a this this circle becomes zero because minus b by 2a plus b by 2a this will become zero zero square is zero into something zero so the minimum value would be 4ac minus b square upon 4a what about a is negative i'm just writing here ax square plus bx plus c that was my this was a into x plus b by 2a whole square now if a is negative you can see that this part will be negative when a is negative this part is always positive because it's a perfect square positive into negative product will be negative or maximum it can be zero so, so a when a is negative minimum value we can't determine or you can say that infinity because if you put x is equal to let's say 10 if you put x is equal to uh, let's say 10 power 2 so 10 power 2 plus b by 2 a whole square it will be 10 power 4 into something negative so minus 10 power 4 so negative value will be as high as you can if you put the more the larger value of x the more the overall negative value you will get so negative value can go up to minus infinity not infinity minus infinity you can say that that will be negative values so minimum value we can't determine we can determine the maximum value for maximum value i will make this part this negative part this overall negative part i will make it this part as zero if i will make this negative part zero then i will get the maximum value because this part is fixed part this will not change this does not depends on x so in order to get the maximum value I will remove the negative part because this overall green part will become negative or maximum maximum it can be zero so I will make this zero rather than negative because if it will negative it will impact our overall value so I will remove the negative part I will make this zero so maximum value again would be 4ac minus b square upon 4a at x is equals to minus b by 2a if you put x is equals to minus b by 2a this green part will become zero and you will get the maximum value so briefly summarizing a quadratic expression can have maximum or minimum value depending on a if a is positive maximum value is infinity or you can say cannot be determined minimum value will be 4ac minus b square upon 4a at point x is equals to minus b by 2a whenever a is negative your minimum value will be minus infinity or you can say that cannot be determined maximum value will be 4ac minus b square upon 4a uh, same uh, values uh, and x is at same point minus b by 2a so this is general formulas to calculate the maximum or minimum value if you can remember this formula you can easily calculate uh, the maximum or minimum value of quadratic expression now question i want to discuss question 1 x square minus 4x plus 8 now first compare this with ax square plus bx plus c now you can see that a is equals to 1, b is equals to minus 4 and c is equals to 8. Now a, as a is positive, you can't determine the maximum value. So this will have a minimum value. This quadratic expression will have a minimum value, maximum value will be infinite. Minimum value, uh, one way is that you can make a perfect square as we discussed in the lesson 1 and then you can calculate the minimum value by common sense. Or you can apply the formula I discussed in this lesson that is 4ac minus b square upon 4a put the values of a a b and c 4 into a is 1 c is 8 minus b square b is minus 4 whole square 4 into a is 1 so you get 32 minus 16 16 by 4 is 4 so you are getting minimum value as 4 again also third way you can calculate the you know at what point the value will come you know that minimum value will come at x is equals to minus b by 2a that is minus of minus 4 b is minus 4 by twice into 1 that is at x is equals to 2 
when x is equal to 2 you will get the minimum value so x square minus 4x plus 8 was my quadratic expression put the value of x as 2 so we'll get 2 square minus 4 into 2 plus 8 so can I say this is equal to 4 uh, plus 8 12 minus 8 that is 4 again the value will be 4 so there are three ways you can either you can you, you want you can use the perfect square that we discussed in lesson 1 or you can apply the formulas or put the value of x as minus b by 2a in this case we will get a minimum value next question is uh, you can have to calculate the minimum or maximum value of this quadratic expression now this is can we first we compare x square plus bx plus c can i say that a is equal to minus 2 b is equal to minus 6 and c is equal to 8 again you know that a is negative so minimum value will be minus to infinity we can't determine we can calculate only the maximum value so maximum value will come it you can solve this question either by making a perfect square and then calculate by common sense as we discussed in lesson 1 or you can apply the formula 4ac minus b square upon 4a straight away you can I say this is 4 into a is r minus 2 c is r 8 minus b square minus 6 square upon 4 into minus 2 can I say that this is equals to 4 8 are 32 4 to the my 8 8 minus 64 you will get minus 36 divided by minus 8 so you will get minus 100 by minus 8 minus minus get cancelled 12.5 100 by 8 is 12.5 will be your maximum value of this quadratic expression and same you can get by putting x is equals to minus b by 2a at this point you will get the maximum value so minus of minus 6 by twice of minus 2 can i say this is 6 by minus 4 that is minus 3 by 2 if you put x is equals to minus 3 by 2 uh, you will get your maximum value put x is equals to minus 3 by 2 so minus twice of minus 3 by 2 whole square minus 6 of minus 3 by 2 plus 8 so you will get this is 3 square 9 9 minus this is minus 9 by 2 plus this is 2 3 plus 9 this is plus 8 if you solve this you will get this is 4.5 plus 8 this is 12.5 so you can get the value in three ways so in this way you can calculate the easily the maximum or minimum value of any quadratic expression so that was all about uh, lesson 2.1 minimum or maximum value of quadratic expression in this we discuss general formula how it came and you can straight away apply and solve the questions thank you